M0FXB, welcome back to my videos on the Bofeng UV5RH Pro Max. I've been sent some firmware and I am a bit scared about loading it, but I'm going to do it anyway. The firmware on my radio currently is, if I go to menu, go down to radio info, menu, version 1.0.80 so I did send them the you know the model I have and but you know if you ever do firmware you are doing it at your own risk and it's possible that I could do this now and it will literally just stop working so I'm not worried about because I'm confident that I could get it working with some help so anyway let's just um, look at this firmware that I've been sent that's in my download folder. Now I got sent it direct. I'll try and upload it to my Facebook. So you've got the actual bin file, the firmware file there. It's called a data file. Okay. Just there. And it says version. It's, it is appearing 1.0.97. This is the program that we use to load it. Now it didn't work when I did it last time. To put the radio into firmware mode, you hold all three of the buttons on this side on the left that's the PTT the orange button and the button below turn on and the screen goes black and that's firmware mode but anyway let's have a look at these instructions that they've given manual text it says here let's have a look press and hold the three buttons turn on the computer select the port select the file and then write which is what it said last time so let's run the little program which is here the cable is connected to my computer and the radio twin pin cable. I'm using the all-in-one cable, but it's a Bofeng cable, but I'm using the all-in-one, um, which I'll put a link in on. It's from Amazon, because it, it, it will work with several radios. So double click, and he said, the person said to me that this is a different firmware loading program to the last time. It looks identical, but maybe it's been updated. So, And even if I fail, I'll post this video. And of course, it's in Chinese, so you can't see it. So if we go right click uh, my Windows Square, right click, we'll go Device Manager to get my port number, which is 16. We'll get the radio into firmware mode, so we'll turn off. And let's see if I can get some more light on this. Like so, uh, all three buttons. So all three, you can see there are three buttons there. One, two, three. Make sure they click, turn on, and the radio looks like that at the moment. So then we'll select the COM. So it says here COM, we'll click it and we'll choose, I know it's Chinese, but we're gonna choose 16 and i believe we choose when we, we know when it's the right one because if we choose the right one it changes to 16 here then we choose the file up here file let's see if I'll, i can find it in my download so we'll click it and then go to download otherwise i'll put it somewhere where i can find it download it's not there so i'm going to put the file somewhere where i can find it okay it's appeared now i just put it into a separate folder double click and then hit the the right and oh it's actually working so hopefully it won't brick my radio and I can load this up to the I got my coffee here now a friend of mine has loaded the previous one that I had and he said it worked on his PC so I'll upload this to Facebook I think I'll delete the the other one go to M0FXB and also up, upload it to the Facebook page up for this radio that I created as well so there it is it's gone in and we'll have a quick look to see if there's any obvious changes it says 100% do I do anything? Um, no, it says hundred percent. So it's going to unplug this, turn it off, turn it on. Welcome. Ooh. Channel mode. 
it's actually working. So, uh, just a quick look. Menu. Menu. Menu again, my version. And it's definitely gone up to 1.097. So anything, the thing that I really want to get working is the actual APRS. So we'll just go menu. menu. And of course the Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Let's turn it on. And then exit and just see it's on. Oh, let's just see if my other phone detects it at all. So I've also turned on the GPS. I'm not seeing anything show up on the Bluetooth. I could try my little, I've got a little Bluetooth speaker here, which I actually I've just turned on, I'll plonk here. And if it suddenly goes boom, boom, then it's paired. I've also turned on, as you can see, the APRS transmit. So I'm gonna use the software to go in there and put my cord, my call sign in ETC. Um, but we'll just quickly go menu and just make sure it's not coming out of the Bluetooth speaker. Menu. No, it's, it's not. It's definitely not paired with the the little speaker. Um, so we'll go menu. <coughs> Need to get the right frequency. Actually, let me just put that in one four four eight hundred. That's in. I'll grab my Yesu radio as well. And you can see at the moment it's not an, a an APRS. Nothing's coming up there. So let me just let me just quickly connect my software a minute. Right, we're connected. We're reading the software. We're going to have a quick look. You can see it's got the read software on the actual radio. We're going to have a quick look at the APRS setting to see if there's anything obvious and then we'll end the video. But it's been fun and I'm glad it went in and all the links will be in the description. So we look down here at APRS. Just here, double click. Hmm, it has cleared all that. So let's get some info in there. So I don't really know what to do yet, but I put in me, M0FXB, I put my friend in M6LSJ and then I've just used all across the board here, I put in the 5 for the SSID and I've even put it here and I'll actually add him there as well, so we go So I, I, I'm literally guessing M6LSJ, thanks to Lionel my friend for, um, for this and then we're gonna go I might as well save now because I've got my memory channels in there. So save that in my documents. 5RH, save. So you can, of course, save when you're using the software. Then I'm going to write it to the radio. But before I do, I'm just going to quickly show you memory channels. There I look, say. So. Go like so. And there are zones in these. Look, zone one. And there's some memory channels. Oh. I thought it had kept some of the memory channels. Uh, maybe there's another zone, no. So zones, it's pretty good that it does zones, but the, I mean, this is sophisticated software. This is not rubbish software. So, um, so let's just go, I'm just surprised that it's not. Ah, there's, there's my APRS channel there. So let's just quickly go on zone one. I'm going to put in two channels 144.800. Like so. Um, that's just. And then we're going to click the more here and you get a bigger window up here. Just seeing if there's any tick boxes for APRS. But it doesn't look like okay. it. And I'll give it a name APRS. Uh, let's lower the power. We don't need high power just in this room. Optional signaling. Hmm. See now, if one of them said APRS, but you have got where it says MDC B B B I S S. So I don't know what that is. So maybe that's what it is. If anyone sees anything obvious, let me know. Click. We can close that, and then I'll put in my node, which is four three four dot five five zero. And we do need a transmit tone of seventy seven. 
uh, keep the power low, it's just in this room, and we'll name it as well. We can open up this bigger window and put it here, or we just type it here. So we just call that hub net. <coughs> and we'll get one repeater in there, which is GB3FI 430925. There's no shift 430. Dot, no, 438. Dot five two. We add the shift manually, basically. So there is a shift, but you add it. Again, 77. Leave that high, and we'll call that GB3. I have actually got a code plug that I made for this. Right to radio, click OK. You can see the radio changes to that blue screen. So the only way to learn how to use software and radios is to actually keep doing it. Um, if you get frustrated and you say to yourself, oh, I hate this radio, I'm going to send it back, and you will end up putting the radio in the cupboard and then never using it or sending it back. But you, you know, the, the bottom line is you've got to work at it. If you're not, if you don't work at it, you won't enjoy the hobby nowhere near as much. So look, you've got air band coming in there. But anyway, let's just go single mode. APRS, you've got the 12, so it's definitely turned on. So now we'll go, we'll have to unplug the headphones in. We'll go menu. And then after this, we'll end the video. So they've built a lot of hardware into this. We just need to get it working. GPRS info, and then we're going to go down to, and you can request and share position. APRS select on. It's going to start sending out again. And I mean, I've seen someone do it via what they call a, um, an eye gate, which I have actually got an eye gate. Um, so maybe I might need to look at their settings. Let's see what it does. We just want it to show up on my radio. Uh, at the moment, apparently, it just shares your position. It's not really doing messages and things like that. But even just sharing a position would be nice. Uh, well, come on then, send. Yeah, so you can see it's sending, but there's nothing appearing on the screen. Like if you go F and go to S list. And yeah, it's the wrong date. So we will keep trying. Thanks for watching my channel. Bye for now.